Hey, my name is Julian and welcome to Member Script 107. And what this script does is it allows your members to select a plan using radio buttons in a form. So like this UI that you can see here. Along with allowing them to do it in a sign up form, they can also do it after they've signed up when they want to update their plan. So let me go ahead and show you that right now. First of all, how it looks. And then we're going to go into Webflow and see how to set it up, how it works, and so on. So first things first, we can see this UI. Let's go ahead and say that we want the premium monthly plan, enter in some fake email for testing purposes, fake password too, hit create account. So as we can see here, it is going to take us to the test checkout and we can see that the $5 per month plan, not the $50 per year plan was indeed the one that was selected. So anyways, hit pay on that, everything is all good. And then it's going to take us to the success page, whatever redirect we set up in member stack. Now, I'm gonna refresh, and as we can see here, the premium monthly is pre-selected because that is the plan that we selected. So now, if we go ahead and want to change it to let's say premium yearly, hit update plan, it is gonna take us into Stripe with the correct UI pulled up if we click update, click yearly, click continue, confirm your updates as we can see here, and then our plan will indeed be switched. So now, if we go back over here and go to the success page, there we go. As we can see here, premium yearly is now, even if we refresh, the one that is going to be pre-selected. So now let's go into Webflow and take a look at how to actually make this work. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is copy the script for member script 107. That is on the member stack site on the member scripts page. There will be a link to that in the description so you can just go ahead, click it there and copy the code. That is the first thing that you need. Now, what that code is going to look like is this over here, as you can see on the success page, it is about 107 lines of code. Now, you only need the full 107 if you're using it on a um, update form, like that second one that I showed you on the success page for this. If it is on a member stack signup form, then you don't actually need to use the second part of the code. So what you can do is you can find this comment here on line 63 that says only keep the section if you have an update plan form on the page. You can just delete everything up until that final script tag as you can see here and you're good to go. But if you leave it in, it's not gonna break anything. So anyways, you're gonna need to first paste in the code. Other than that, you won't need to mess with it at all. So make sure to save that. And then as for attributes, what we have here, first things first, is ms-code-radio-plan equals form. And in this case, I have it on the signup form. And along with that, on here, we have data ms price add. And this could be add, this could be update. It depends on what your needs are, but usually for a signup form, it would probably be add. So we have that. And finally, we have this div block right here. Inside of it, we have these radios. And this div block has the attribute of ms-code-radio-plan equals radio-group. And within that, our radios, they have a name of plan. Now that name, it's fine. You should probably leave it as plan. And then the value is the plan ID. So just in case you don't know, I'm gonna show you. To get that from member stack, once you've created your plan, simply go to install and publish, select which one, in this case, we have two different prices, copy that ID, and then that ID is exactly what you're gonna wanna make the value of that radio button. So that is it for when it's in a signup form. Then we have this form, and as we can see, it still has ms-code-radio-plan equals form, which is good and the radio attributes are all the same. So we have this radio group attribute on the div block around it, and we have the choice values here matching the plan IDs. The only difference is in here we have a button. This is not a form submit button, it is simply a button. And this has data MS price update applied to it, or add, or whatever it is that you would want it to be. 
Now that is the main difference that this attribute is inside the form on a button instead of actually being applied to the form. So that should be it. If you followed all of the instructions, it should be working. If it's not, then please let me know in the member stack 2.0 Slack in the member scripts chat channel. I will talk to you soon and have a great day.